welcome to real life sci-fi. I I thought the camera pointed at me, but it was pointed the other way. <laughs> oh, it always is. Always I don't is. know. He does different shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> real life sci-fi yeah. dot show. Yeah. I'm Wade. Um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to real life sci-fi. <laughs> I'm Wade. I'm Willie. And I'm Aaron. Um, real life sci-fi dot show. Yes. Is our new website. Just go there. Then I don't have to say all this other bullshit. It's all true. Right? Yeah. Tuesdays, Thursdays, twitch.tv slash real life sci-fi. You don't, but you just, now you did it. Well, because we don't have Patreon.com slash real life sci-fi. Um, <laughs> Jesus. By the way, this is a podcast about the paranormal and contemporary mythology. And uh, let's welcome aboard the SSRLSF. It's our good friend, the funniest and best person I or any one of us knows. Lindsay, yay! <laughs> Lindsay's got a show coming up next week if you're in L.A., Saturday the 18th at UCB Franklin. It's called Make That Sandwich. And tickets are on your website? Tickets are on my Instagram, on Upright Citizens Brigade's uh, website. But yeah, you can just go to the link in my bio. It's right there, at Lindsay Ames on Instagram. And it's going to sell out, and it's a birthday yeah. show. Get them now. Oh, Hell happy true. birthday. Yeah. Thank you. And the lineup is nuts. Like, I, if people have ever seen, or like Salt Hank, uh, he's on. Yeah, I was surprised. I was like, whoa, Salt Hank's going to be yeah, on the show? Yeah, Holy and he's, he makes delicious sandwiches. Yeah. Salt Hank? Salt Hank. Hank. Salt Hank. Hank. But he's not like this Henry. guy, right? No, that's no, all bay. That's all bay. That guy sucks. There's a lot of salt. You know, there's enough salt for everyone if you don't come at the world with a lack of mindset, you know? Yeah. Ooh, is there a salty Doug out there? That should be that out there. Right? Salt Ooh. Doug, hit us salt up. Salt Doug, where salty are you? Doug. Hit us up, Salt Doug. We need Salt Doug. And uh, <laughs> Fibula, who's his best friend, who's also hilarious, great comedian, really funny. Andrea Jin, who is a Vancouver hometown homie, a uh, Canadian comedian <laughs> who lives in LA, who is she's outrageous she's amazing and mike glazer who's like the fucking best also so it's gonna be a, Is this a canadian jacket were you met you no in fact oh, i, I got it at this physical no it's just being cool and okay, also okay. i actually got this here at this very yeah. house well, at a oh, house snap. yeah That's rad it was a swap and i was like i can't go to this thing i am not allowed to get one piece of clothing and i walked in the door immediately saw this then mandy's fur jacket and yeah. a bunch of other things that i i doubled down and i left with so much stuff <laughs> Can, so you know mandy does this not look like a little mandy <laughs> to you? so mean that is so <laughs> it looks just like her it looks just mm, like mandy I did she have a rough weekend she used to have glasses yeah, I don't know. I I hid her glasses because Abed's show, they were like, they lost them and then the interns found them and now I don't know where I put them. <laughs> it looks like she did a lot of ketamine and someone told her she could do a haircut. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Don't worry, I got this. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I can do I can handle it. I can do I can totally do it. So on this show, you make a sandwich. Yes, so speaking of... Well, you, you, now, you've been on the show before. You were on here during the quarantine, right? Yes. And we did like a little mini version mm -hmm. of it. Okay, but so okay. go on. Okay, so the, the, the show is um, each player takes a turn listing one ingredient each to make a delicious sandwich. Okay? And you base your ingredient off of the person who played an ingredient before you. And we go around and around until one person feels like the sandwich cannot get any better. And then they say, make that sandwich. And then I do. So I did that for the, usually I do a pop-up. I will be giving away a few sandwiches at the show. Ooh. Usually I do a full pop-up and everybody buys the sandwiches that I make on stage for the comedians. Uh -huh. But it's a really quick turnaround. So that will not be happening. But if you come, <laughs> I'm going to have like three or four sandwiches for audience members. So I got those people who are playing to play around beforehand. Now, I'm going to make that sandwich for them to try on stage. And I had to shoot the episode today. Ooh. So I brought with me the sandwich oh. from <laughs> the, what's going to be next Saturday. Now, you guys are going to try it. But we're not allowed to close up on it. Okay. We're not allowed to give away what's on it. Oh, Shit, let's just react. You have to kind of be a little, you know, like if you can cover it as much as you can, the sure. wrapping's going to be a little I'll fucked. And there will be one thing that it. people will see. But uh, you can say things like, this is the best sandwich I've ever had, or mm, yum, I never want another sandwich. But just don't <laughs> say anything that points out what the actual okay. sandwich is. Like, you have to come on Saturday. Oh. 
<laughs> or follow me on Instagram and uh, you'll you'll see. I'm ex- I will now. I'm excited. I well, know. so while you get all that stuff out, it was I'll... for a theme. Food is mad. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We did well, pick a food theme yeah, for let's, you. Let's throw it to Willie and uh, hit yeah. us with that topic. Oh, no. Wilson. Wait, aren't well, you going to do the, the... WowScale well, after because okay. she's doing her thing. Okay, yeah, hit us with that topic. Tonight on Real Life Sci-Fi, food as medicine, food as magic. Socrates said, thou shouldst eat to live, not live to eat. And the Hippocrates, <laughs> Hippocrates, whatever he say, said he was among the first to establish the role of diet, was often quoted as saying, let food be your medicine. Tonight we're talking about different ways that food should be your medicine. Tonight on Real Life Sci-Fi. Food oh, as medicine. Wow, um, it looks like a bun. <laughs> she, she has wrapped. <laughs> she has wrapped the sandwich too tight. Producer She's Sevon, chewing at it with her teeth. I want you to keep the sandwich wrapped because it helps maintain. Also, because people will think they know what this bread is, but they but they don't. Uh, yeah, I was like, "What is that? A baguette?" Ariana played it. Okay, you can't say no matter what. It's not that. Oh, okay, I'm it's sorry. It's not okay, that. Okay, I'm so. But you're not allowed. I'm learning. Okay, can you open up this? Yeah, I'm, I'm learning. You're not. What the? Fuck? I'm learning. You do? I don't think you would. You don't I mean, you know. might be able to pick out a, a point in it. But, get a okay. okay. So you want to dip? Yeah. Okay. I guess the okay, wide is good for you, this. You can get a, maybe a napkin from. <laughs> I don't know if I want uh, this. Give me some of that paper towel oh, over there. Yeah, sir. yeah, yeah. You again. right? I mean, a lot of people are gonna. I didn't that. even hear what he said. I didn't yeah, even hear what yeah. he said. Well, well, I feel like first bite. You might have to take two bites because first bite is just like the. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, okay, this, so Willie is eating a microphone? the sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no brought one's us brought us food? delicious food. Okay. Is it my butt right now? That's just the, the no, we're just in the wide. See, it's right there. Okay. It's fine. So how's Gary doing? Gary is what we call our chat. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, it's okay. Show my face. Here. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm just going to let it ride. I'm just going to let it ride. Screw it. Why not? There's so many un- even if you think you know what this is, there are so many unexpected. I have no. In it. There is, yeah. There every time I chew, I'm like, wow. Delicious. Delicious. I, I mean, I will say. Oh God. I did not think that it would be possible to live up to some of the things you were saying. Like, oh, it's spicy. I Sorry. mean, it, it 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 truly is an amazing sandwich, and I got good bites of all kinds of stuff, and there's. Things that I would not put in there that I'm like, oh, that's that's actually good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I can't believe I can't talk about it more. I know. I, I was afraid. I was yeah. thought there'd be like octopus or something in there. I'm like, nobody nope. would choose octopus. No. And I would choose octopus. No, Seb would choose octopus. It's very good. I decided I'm not going to eat octopus anymore. Even though it's delicious. <laughs> I, I'm taking a break. You guys will have more after. And even what th- we yeah. dipped it into was unique and amazing too. I, I was like, what had. Listen, you guys got to get there. <laughs> it's a good show. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's a lot of fun. Is the sandwich a cryptid? <laughs> Delicious. Someone in the chat? Yeah. 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 Hard, to, hard to find. Well, thank you for bringing us food. <laughs> Boy, I think you're the first, welcome. You're yeah. the first who have done that, no, I think. No, no. Someone... Well, I feel like we've had, like, little snacky things, but no one's ever made us food. Yeah, that's true. No one's made us food. Uh, I mean, there's really the rest good. of this for you. I just want to, you know, I feel like... What? How many are in there? Well, there's one, but it's like there's still half oh, okay. of it. I just didn't know if you guys wanted to get over it so yeah. that we could, yeah. Well, damn. Um, sob scale? Yeah, so you've been on the show before. We yeah. do something here called the sob scale. This is different since you were here. Okay. Sob scale. It's my fault. Yeah, yeah. But you got to keep it like, right in right right my mouth. Yeah, okay. Little, yeah. Gary, we'll mail you some of that sandwich. Subscale stands for skeptic or believer. It's a five question quiz. At the Love end, it. I will grade you anywhere between a zero and a five. If you're more of a five, you're more of a believer. If you're more of a zero, you're more of a skeptic. Are you ready to be weighed on the sob scale? Hell yeah. First question, three part. Do you believe in aliens? If so, have they visited Earth? If so, have they visited Earth in the last 300 years? Absolutely. Yes. Without a doubt. 
They 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 they've been here. They are here. They're here. They could be here now. Yeah. What's Can What's Canada's stance on uh, aliens? Do didn't they, they have do one? disclosure? Yeah. Didn't yeah. we just have? We had like a big. Wasn't there just in the last like I feel like a month or something? There was like a big um, shift headline, but I don't really remember what it was because I didn't see it. Right. Was probably in a TikTok. I don't know what the recent thing was, but they've always been yeah. ahead of the game and yeah. been more open. And they they had a a prime minister for a while that was actively trying to have a meeting with with aliens based on some secret information that he had. I mean, it was... It's good stuff. Yeah, it's good. They've always we should have talked we about did that. that. I didn't actually know that. I wish I yeah. knew that. And I came in... Was it... Allegedly. Like, huh. <laughs> I don't know that you can believe anything that he says. Yeah, but if he says it with conviction, then I can. If okay. I, but, and I also will. if I look and go, yeah. Yeah, and then I'm going to go, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, second question. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah. Do you have any ghost stories? Yes. Okay. I have I have some of my own, but I will just say this because I did another podcast, Tom Trans podcast, and he is all about ghosts, seeing if you're a skeptic, if you're not, if you have ghost stories. And um yeah, it sounds a lot like ours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's different, you know? Just it's r- really different. <laughs> anyway, so uh, so he was show he has this insane photo because he went to a ghost town with some friends and they were in like it was it wasn't a, a planned trip. They ended up having they had a detour and they went to a ghost town, just a bunch of them. And one of their friends was taking a bunch of pictures in one of like the houses, the structures, and then like whatever they left. And then when he got home, he started like looking at the pictures and fucking around with the exposure and he upped the exposure and there is a fucking ghost face. Like you've never seen before. So distinct looking at you and you're like, come on, could be uh, computer graphics whatever this was like because he showed the picture before the picture after it was just a, a head in their back it's like it oh i got goosebumps it, it was the Ooh. real deal it was fucked up like i was like because i am skeptical even when i say it like i'm like i love ghosts and i'm facet and i think that they're real but i also am equally like maybe not but aliens i'm like a hundred percent what fucking narcissists would well, we sure. be if we're like oh, there can't be any intelligent life out there past this. Why have they not said hi to us? Yeah. <laughs> what well, uh, we have follow up with the ghost question though. Okay. What do you think they get to choose their outfit? Like what we have uh like your ghost outfit. Oh, like your, Like do you do, think, do you think you that when you ghost- die do you do you become a ghost from what you died in, or do you become a ghost with like your favorite outfit? The best projection of yourself. Or... See, I want. I feel like it's probably it would just like anything. It would be change, change. Like it, there would there is probably no set way. It's like you know how people. You know how people tell themselves the story of their lives, right? Somebody's like, "Ugh, I always have the worst luck," right? And then uh-huh. they're like, "The worst shit always happens to me," right? And then that's the <clears> story <throat> that they cling to, right? Uh-huh. So if somebody dies and they're like, just so like, this is who my identity was. This is where I am. Yeah. This is how I want to be defined. Then that's how they show up. I wonder what I would get dressed in. Right. I always think about the food thing, like because for me that would be hat. so. Like, do I get to remember what's the Mel Brooks movie with, when they are in heaven and it's just all food all the time everywhere? Oh, what movie? Wait, is you that? mean Albert Brooks? Albert Brooks and yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Meryl defending Street, your life. Defending, yes. Such a good movie. Gotta yeah, rewatch it. That's but a, the best movie. There's so much food, in it, and it's like that is my heaven. That's what I would want. Because like for me, when I go, if I get there and there's no food, like. Send me to hell, baby. Yeah, that will be hell. That will be hell. And then I'll be like, oh, yeah. shit, it doesn't Oh, I didn't exist. make Fuck it. the Jews. We thought it was good blows. Am I in the right place? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn. Um, Bigfoot? Bigfoot. <laughs> I mean, you like, now. Mm. But, You've been to Canada. I know. And then I saw some <laughs> crazy ass. Like, I love, I mean, I love when I see TikToks or videos. Like, I love all this stuff. You know, it's like sleep. Didn't we talk? We talked about sleep paralysis, I believe, mm-hmm. the last time an alien mm-hmm. showing up that way. And that, I love that. That is, and the phenomena of how of how they show up for all people. Mm-hmm. Um, Bigfoot, I feel like 
could probably, but have you heard, didn't we talk about, there's like um, the red eyed zombie alien, not zombie, red eyed like beast in Thailand or there was a podcast maybe that I listened to where these guys were in a rural part of Thailand and they were doing some sort of camping and they were like these eyes that we saw in this deep cave it's like part of some lore but they really saw it and it was like the most terrifying moment Mm. of their lives but they lived they lived but they were speeding away on the boat and just saw like the way he described the eyes showing up they're in a boat in a cave no they are they took a boat to i guess like a beach it was nighttime and then there was a cave you know what's so funny you guys at home me recounting this shit (laughs) I smoke so much weed and I also have ADD. <laughs> and so like the way I remember things, oh, there you are. See, can't even look at the fucking right camera. <laughs> there we go. This is it. So me recounting this to you, I I'll, I will try to remember the podcast because the way he recounts it was so chilling. And I love horror movies so much, but I'm so specific in how I like my horror movies and I find it very difficult to be scared. Like for me, yeah. I saw Blair Witch uh, before Blair Witch even had any craze about it. We didn't know. We just happened. And we were going camping the next day. Uh, which was like, so, and I did the best, worst thing, the meanest thing. But we went in and it was like so revolutionary, right? And it felt so real. And for me, it was so perfect. I was so obsessed with the film because they let your mind and your imagination get the better of you and that is what the scariest thing is like being dictated and told like i used to love as a kid slasher all like pinhead everything Mm -hmm. and now i that he's walking slow again (laughs) (laughs) how many more people have to like like when i watch a, a slasher film i actually spend the majority of the time even if i'm enjoying the film like i just saw that mia goth ty west that awesome uh fuck what's what was his latest which uh uh, the Mia Goth movie from X. I saw X. Oh, like last year. When the it porn came one. Yes. And, yeah. and when I, I noticed that when I watch like movies that are slashers, I spend the whole time being like, okay, six more people left to go. Okay, four, three more. Well, it's going to be at least 20 minutes before the next kill. Oh, like they that. showed this thing, so they must die this way. Exactly. Okay. Right? Yes. It's and like so, analytical. Exactly. It takes you out. But uh, a horror movie that is just lets you do the work and doesn't show much and is uh ghost driven that's my chef's kiss yeah yeah like the others which one was the others where remember. they were they the twist was they were the ghosts yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah i do <laughs> but see i do like that that's a zemeckis picture <laughs> yeah. right i think so i like full horror Full core is my favorite. What's like that? What? What's like in? Wicker Man. That's oh, like full core. Yeah, or like Mothman. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Getting our pasta. It's like a... Scary pasta. Yeah. And then, uh... Uh, God, what was that one where they were in a field? It's like a black and white one there in a What about Chill in the Corn? Does that fit in there? Not really, because they stumble into the town. It's not... Yeah. Chill in the Corn was fun. Yeah. And like, look, <clears throat> I was talking to my parents because somebody was uh, talking about how they'd never seen The Shining, and I was like, that's... Oh, like The Shining is so... You'd think as a comedian, a stand-up, I would be better. It's okay. You're high. You guys, it's been a long, it's been a long (laughs) fucking... You've been doing a lot. (laughs) I did. Here's the thing. I did my second journey. There's no way to say it without sounding like a total douche, but I did my second uh, plant medicine journey uh, last week and then didn't really because it came up uh, so serendipitously and after the first experience i was like if it came my way which i never thought it would for a long time i was like i gotta do it but i was leaving for toronto at four in the morning the day after and it's just been like insane ever since so i'm here but i am a ghost so i do believe in ghosts because well, that's your ghost outfit yeah this is that's my great. ghost outfit. <laughs> she got that jacket from our clothing yeah, club and, and this <laughs> Lucha libre uh shirt from mexico city so i died pretty cool and yeah. it says chuck mark? mark 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 um all right uh <laughs> psychics thoughts on psychics you oh yeah i've had some crazy shit yeah 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Got a quick one? Quick one? Quick one? Okay. Because you guys will know who this is, but it's fucked. Yeah. Okay. She been so, on the show before? So, no, no, you'll know when. Okay, so I, uh, I was in a real bad spot, uh-huh. real bad uh, relationship, I uh, oh, lost uh-huh. 10 pounds, had to take this person to court. It was a very nightmare situation that I never thought I'd ever be in, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, mm-hmm. didn't tell anybody about it, had I self-isolated, literally was uh, uh, in my bathroom being like, somebody help me like out to the heavens. And then my mom and my sister called and they were like, can you come back to Vancouver? Will you come for a visit? And I was like, needed it so bad. Went to go see them. One night my mom goes, I want you to listen to something. She went to this psychic who's like pretty fucking crazy. Oh my God. And we just had those crazy ghosts. I had two ghost stories that just happened two months ago. Anyways. (laughs) Sorry, everyone. So (laughs) this is good. I mean, you need the time. I'm a great guest. (laughs) So, so anyways, my mom had to go to the psychic for some shit of her own. And this psychic pulled out. You're not allowed to say anything anything that also the psychic my mom was just calling for an appointment and this psychic was going to be leaving town for a book tour uh first and was going to only be taking appointments six months from now and my mom was like okay and then she goes oh wait actually she's here she can't do a full reading but she'll do like a quick one for you my mom was like anything so she gets on she says you can't say anything but yes or no you know like maybe but like nothing that will pontificate she pulled out my grandmother's name, which is Lottie, my other grandmother's name, which is Sorella, my grandfather's name, that is Maxwell, and a C for Clifford for my other grandfather. Okay? Whoa. Started that just, ah. Then there was like just litany of stuff that it was like to my uncle's heart um, heart surgery, my aunt's breast cancer, like crazy specific. And then my mom goes, how's Lindsay doing? And she says, Awful. And she says, really? She says, yes, I see a big guy living in her stomach. And I was having all stomach. I couldn't eat. I couldn't like nothing. It was, I was fucked. And she goes, he calls himself a bad boy. (laughs) Guys, this is so embarrassing in front of all of you. But yes, I dated somebody that uh, referred to himself as a bad boy. (laughs) We all live, we learn, we laugh, you know, let my my (laughs) stupidity be a lesson to you at home. Uh, So... She pulled that out and then she goes, are they married? Are they getting married? And like my stomach fucking dropped. My mom's like, no, I can hear her in the recording going, no. Every day this dude would be like, you're my wife. I'm going to marry you. You're my wife. And I'd always be like, this is no. And he'd be like, and he'd always say that that was his tagline. She was like, she has to get away from him and all this stuff. And I, and, and I did, but that was fucking. That's wild, man. That is wild. And also probably the big help for you to jump out of it, right? Exactly. It was like the I needed it. I was at the brink. It's so like the even psychic permission. Exactly. To, to yeah. Like the universal yourself. sign to be like, Yeah, you can get out. And because it allowed me that her doing that allowed me to talk to my mom and my sister about it because I wasn't talking to anybody about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um Last question. Still schedules? <laughs> yeah, he's still out. He's out. It's okay. Do you think? Fascinating. Do you think that life is a simulation? Oh yeah, I had a real <laughs> bender with this throughout the pandemic. <laughs> well, I know that it's more mathematically probable that we are in a simulation. So, but I, my little tiny human brain has a hard time. But then sometimes I'm like, I tried doing that, like <laughs> when I was in the rough spot, you know, being like, tomorrow I'm gonna wake up. On a different timeline, <laughs> <laughs> but I, maybe I'm there. Maybe you know. You know, just uh, just to piggyback off of that, one one interesting thing I heard recently was um, every so there's let's say that there's a a, a bunch of different parallel universes. Yeah. Every time you you rise up or make a decision, you jump into the better universe. And I'm like, oh, that's fucking kind of a cool it idea is- that like. But then why are we here? <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> why make any sense. Sense. But are we even here? Because if we're a simulation, like, are we even here? Who's running our but freaking then avatars? But everyone change? If you did something good and then all of a sudden... I think, I think you have to... You have to be responsible for jumping into the better... The, the best universe. Mm, got it. So it's like you set the vibration of your best self and then it moves you into it. It's like, it's like quantum leap. 
You know what yeah. would help you get onto the right vibration? <laughs> mm. What? Food. Oh, our good. theme that we nice haven't even bring it around. Magical oh. food. Nice one to bring it. By around. the way, you're a five. I'm a five. I know. You're four. Or five. What are you? Are I you would a, say you're a zero? High four. Because she doesn't believe in squatch. I'm a one. Yeah. You're a one. I'm yeah. a four. You just don't I'm believe. Do you believe in aliens? Which is the one that I you... believe that aliens exist, but I don't believe they've been here. Right. He believes in why, why? Why don't you think it would be possible for them? Like all the things that people are seeing now, you know, how would you explain oh. the broadening? Like, and I'm saying of air, like when you're talking about. I'm, I'm more agnostic about it than anything. Like I see all that stuff and I go, okay, well, let's see, <laughs> you know. And see, on that same token, I still think most of the stuff they're showing is just propaganda still to to get what they want there's been shit the whole time right but now they're just wait you're saying they being aliens are doing that or like the government, the government. or right yeah there's a reason why they pick and choose what you're allowed to see and they don't it's because they don't have enough footage for you to think other than yeah. like oh, it could be russia yeah i mean i think that there is so much stuff going on that we have no think about the things that we see play out day to day in the like horrors of politics and then talking about big business, everything, right? Like there's so much nefarious activity going oh, yeah. on for all profit base, right? That it's like, imagine the things that we don't know are are frightening. Yeah. But, and they're hidden because we will all revolt and it'll be anarchy, right? So. Yeah. Did you see the fighter jets today? No, I was shooting sandwiches. What? It's Hollywood's <laughs> biggest night. Oh, that, oh, but were they, did they, they do like, fight? I guess they did yeah. like a fight, probably for Maverick, I guess. It was, they was like so a, loud. It was I heard loudest. choppers. And I, the, the president came in on a chopper, so. <laughs> did he, he was, I, don't, I don't know if he was like, he wasn't like in the show, he just was visiting. Right? Oh, that's actually real. I yeah. just thought that you were being funny and I just imagined Biden, like, you know, like his like, and then at the end of the night, he's going to be like, my ride's here. Everyone, everyone <laughs> look up, the president <laughs> is flying by. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so yeah, what about this? You read an entire book, so I feel like we wow. should jump into this. Yeah. Well, the book, the book that I read was, uh, Food of the Gods. God, I wish, Nola, will you put who, um, wrote that in the chat? I already forgot. But it was, it was mostly about how, like, how eating mushrooms made us go from quadrupeds to standing upright, to giving us language, to, uh, making us agriculture and then it kind of went into all of the stimulants that we ingest and how it's affects it, how it affects our bodies how it affected people's minds in the past and how it affected our society moving forward so everything from mushrooms to coffee to sugar to alcohol like that was all in that book it's an incredible book i recommend it to everyone if you have amazon prime i think that you get it for free on audible but oh Oh, thank you, nice. Nalit. Uh, yeah, the mushroom, the mind expander. Yeah. Um, Ooh, like the, so, like, it starts off with us being just silent, mute partner communities. We're like small communities, like apes, picking things up as we go, tr eating everything. If it doesn't sit well with us, we'll throw it up. And if, it, if we ingest it, then that's good to eat. Um, as we started moving into like a, like a bovine community, we started eating psychedelic mushrooms, things with psychotropics in it, because of, of how it uh, affects your mind. It makes shapes more dominant. You can see movement better. We became much better hunters, which made us start walking upright so that we can hold things like weapons, carry things back. Um, women being the gather became gatherers and men became hunters. And so women being gatherers, we had to be able to communicate where food was, what it looked like, what it does to you, how to preserve it. So language actually came from women, which made society back then goddess and, and matriarchal societies. And with that um, also came religion. There's like, I know that Willie, you and I have talked about like, Boo. like how. <laughs> no, no, no. These are not like Christian religions. These are women-centric, earth-bound religions where there's a much more, um, like, it's like, like pagan. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like pagan. Yeah. It's like early, early, early mm -hmm. paganism. Mm -hmm. And um, because of all this, uh, and we start talking, uh, it makes you more poetic, like mushrooms make you want to 
speak more and say things like there's even a connection between our uh like other kind of not like homo sapiens and how they had thicker heads than yeah. uh, what we do yeah like even just the utterance and singing cleans out plaque in our brains because our brain our skulls are so thin the vibrations travel better in our heads thicker brain thicker skulled um homo sapiens didn't evolve with us they kind of died out because they their brains weren't getting bigger and with food it like enhance i don't know it's just crazy like all the different foods we eat enhances our brain um well and they were there's just an article that came out in vice about how mushrooms and other psychedelics like lsd actually do expand the brain and grow and produce brain cells and yeah. brain activity to make your brain more fluid and agile no that can't be true those have been illegal for so long <laughs> But that, that's it too, is like, we went from being a, a matriarchal, like, partner society where these people in the mountains would trade with these people in the plains because we don't have things. We would do this on uh, lunar cycles as the mushrooms mm -hmm. would grow mm -hmm. so that us meeting and trading would end in a night of us all eating mushrooms and fucking each other, which means that we're sharing our genes, like, our, and, um, and with the swapping of seed, we become, uh, like, more amicable towards these other tribes because now I can't think of a less sexy way to say fucking than swapping of the seed. Well, I, I, I can't. I'm just, I'm just trying to go. I didn't take any mushrooms, so I can't uh, be. We were as supposed eloquent. to take mushrooms. I know we were. We were. I thought we were all fucking micro. We were. We were so like, just... we're gonna take mushrooms and not tell Lindsay. Oh my god, <laughs> I would be so mad because then I'd be like, why didn't you give me some? Yeah, but um, but mushrooms with, are the best. So with the that. Best. Women realize that we can just plant things where we are rather than go out and find it, which made agriculture, which then came into... What you're into, saying is, is we crushed shit. Yeah, we fucking crushed it. But with that, unfortunately... Hey, and it's your month. This is so apropos. It's your month. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Congratulations on your month. <laughs> it's Women's March. Yeah. It's our month. My, it's my birthday. That's the same. You know, it's like, oh, wow. yeah, 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 it's my month. And you're telling me this isn't a simulation. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, I, I yeah. feel like I'm talking a lot. But no, like, I love it. It's fascinating. So with agriculture comes um, hoarding. It comes surplus. And with that comes uh, this is mine, not yours. You mm. no longer need to trade. Mm -hmm. And when you don't need to trade, women as gatherers no longer need to be the figurehead of a group. It needs to be a strong man a patri that turns into a patriarchy which then instead of becoming trading becomes a dominating society yeah fucking a which mm. uh is <laughs> takes you further away from from like mushrooms make you introspective of yourself but not taking those kind of psychedelics like just inflates your ego saying this is mine this is mine which in a patriarchal society when you don't need the earth anymore we became an industrial society we became like there is imperialism there's slavery all that comes with taking away fucking mushrooms they started making it they started vilifying it with witch trials with um christianity vilifies it saying that it brings in devil spirits mushrooms? and stuff really? that's somebody yeah. who, who had a bad trip and then just didn't understand their own yeah. inner demons and were like oh this is this is awful oh what, what why do i want to fuck all these kids it must be, <laughs> mushrooms. It must be those mushrooms <laughs> one of the, yeah oh sorry one I, more I, thing I, yeah yeah one of the things that that they did say in the book was that sometimes during the witch trials they would find psychedelics in whatever the like witch in her hut and rather than because they would just administer it like so tiny like it would be a medicinal thing so they would tiny. slather it all over their skin before the trial and so they would just be fucking batshit insane like oh screaming gosh. and stuff and everyone's like the devil's in her oh my god this is evil you know they would do that to That's the witch to the to the woman so on trial. Depressing. What? Isn't that fucked up? That That's is but super fucked so, up. But also not fucked up because it's like it just makes sense. Like humans, the the way that they're the diabolical nature of so many humans. Like it's bizarre that they, that that there is such good in people and such bad in people. Yeah. And it's like how how we get there is a very thin thread. But that yeah. means that they knew what they were doing right yeah but they but it's a but, but so it's then, a power grab so it's like yeah you, yeah so why wouldn't they do it they also didn't have 
TV. They didn't have Married at First Sight Australia mm, to yeah, watch. Yeah, you gotta you know? make your own. Fun. So it's like it's they, Jerry Springer mixed with. Um... Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. think about they used to be people and watch that for trials. fun. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the burning. Like, yeah, you're like, well, there's nothing else to do today. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go, go see someone get see burned. Yeah, oh, those are real. There's That's a video wild. game graveyard graveyard keeper, and one of the things in it is people aren't going to the witch trials anymore so you have to make beer you have to craft beer and burgers to entice people to come <laughs> to the, the witch trials <laughs> yeah the witch burning they so had like, to adapt yeah. just like how instagram has been losing followers you know and they're trying to update and do all the stuff it's just the same exact thing yeah <laughs> Um, <laughs> Willie, what were you going to say? Oh, I was yeah, just going to add this uh, this quote from uh, uh, the Bible, just because it's interesting. Ezekiel 4.15. Oh. Then he said unto me, Lo, I have given thee cow's dung for man's dung, and thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is just mushrooms. It's just mushrooms. Just mushrooms. They just took out the mushroom part yeah. of it. Oh, no, it's no. funny eat that Eat cow poop. That's yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah, just eat that poop. I was just, it's amazing that you are, that this is where it came in for the conversation because I was thinking about this just the other day, having gone through, you know, what I went through and I was like, oh, like when did this get vilified? How did it come in? What did it look like? What shape did it take form? Because mm -hmm. I totally think also like when, when we think about how we, how religious leaders and edicts happen like in the middle east you know just mm -hmm. we're talking about like moses everybody like how how did these leaders how did the romans how did this all happen how did they pick god and it's like because they found they just found crazy ass drugs mm -hmm. and they like were super charming and just got on them and everybody wanted to like listen to their enlightened speech like it's just like how i did that journey and then after it's so annoying because you're like you've had this amazing experience and it's not in a party, it's in a very different way, and you're like, shit, this is so healing. This is amazing. This is what life is about. And you try to tell people, and you're like, oh, I just sound like a fucking yeah. leader of yeah. an MLN or some <laughs> shit, you know? I mean, here's a crazy thing. Like, picture Everything the... turns into, I'm sorry, everything <laughs> turns into a sketch about stoners. Yeah. Like, what do you think stars are, man? Like, Yeah. My friend who was like, like just outside being like, I want to be the ocean. And you're like, <laughs> of course you do. Uh, like, yeah, so yep. like take all your best experiences you've ever had on any psychedelics or anything and then picture doing something evil in that moment oh my god uh, like uh, like doing some like murdering someone on acid sounds like an actual nightmare nightmare like an uh, like i don't think i could ever come back from that you wouldn't your brain would be augmented like fundamentally augmented yeah could you even do it that's what I, yeah that's what i'm saying i, I don't think i could you no, not, not you but the, could anyone could no yes i, I mean people for have sure. done it oh people have killed people on acid before i'm yeah. sure but I picture mean, mushrooms going anything acid, that you right? can right? think of acid yes. can be intense what yeah i just think anything that you can possibly think of has happened up, and though. more so there are some real fucked up people. Yeah. I just learned how you can like control squirrels. Do you guys know this? You can control squirrels. Well, can you keep them out of my fucking garden? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I set that up. You had to, right? Because imagine you're like, nah, we don't want to. Nobody wants to know that. So try this at home. If you see a squirrel and you go like this to them. Tail. All the break dancers are getting attacked now. <laughs> Yeah, but, so no, for the it, listeners, it's like you're doing that wave. wave. Like you a pop get, you're doing the wave. You, wave you hold yes. the person's hand next to you and you do yeah, the wave. Yeah, so you just mimic basically a wave with one arm at it. And the reason that it signals to them, so they'll usually stop and come over to you because it's the same motion that their tails take. And that's how they communicate non-verbally. And yeah. so if, if you want to try, I've seen it in action. So that's why in the early wow. break dancing years in New York, like squirrels were just attacking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beat Street. Oh, yeah. They just had to squirrel squirrel. Attacks. yeah. Just put the cardboard down so that the squirrels wouldn't have any traction. <laughs> yeah, they exactly. They slip off. <laughs> exactly. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I'm glad we <laughs> solved that mystery. <laughs> um, okay, one sorry. Of, one of the things too that was interesting was the fact that most psychedelic visions they encounter a feminine spirit there's like a female spirit that they encounter and in the past they associate this with Gaia or whatever the earth spirit is mm -hmm. but in in a in Christianity Christianity is the only religion that does not have a matriarch in it like, like Eve 
No, but she's not. She's, she's, she's not. Mary she's God. not of God. She's yeah. not of God. Virgin Mary. But H- they hooker. Huh? Well, that Mary was an Magdalene, all derogatory term. Sorry, I did not mean to say that. I meant to say sex worker. Positive but sex yes, worker. Yes. But that's that's just that's Jesus, and they don't like to include her with it. There are a lot of women that were taken out of the Bible, mm-hmm. but modern Christianity of course. Of course. that uh, that's because. That imperialism. Rule. <laughs> they don't, yeah, everything is Eve's <laughs> fault. It's like they, they, they take, they make the woman even smaller. But like, not. I don't. I don't want to go down this religious. Yeah, thing, but it's I, like, like so, I, yeah. No, we, what can, about to- the we apple? can totally go down that. What about religion. the apple? So in this book, they speculate that the apple was actually a mushroom. Yeah, they never. They never it, says it's an apple. They say the fruit. Yeah. The oh, fruit and, and the then it's like she's God. trying to peer pressure him to eat the. Uh, yeah, to eat but the, so in the Bible, he she gives her. She gives him the mushroom, right? Yeah, and they yeah. eat it and they say their eyes are opened, which is what happens when you do psychedelics. Yes. And they notice that they are naked. They're no longer of one. They are of con- they're conscious of their selves. They oh. they have an ego death. They're conscious of themselves. Yes. They decide to put clothes on because they're like, "Oh, you're different than me. We should cover ourselves up." God throws them out of Eden, which if you look at at pastoral uh, ancient communities, where they think they were, I forget where it was, but there was a severe drought. There's evidence of severe drought in this like kind of green belt area. And it's uh, guarded by a cherub with a spinning flame of fire, which is represented- representative of a super hot sun. So they're forced to go somewhere else and do agriculture. Can I just say that it's such a shame, just to interject that it is such a shame that they, through their mushroom trip, were like, ooh, we should cover this because... Like, you can have so much fun having sex and stuff on mushrooms. Yeah. Like, it's so freeing. Like, you figure, what, that's what everybody egg. at the burn is doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's like, they're taking it off. Why did it make them like, ugh? Yeah. Did, you know what? Maybe, maybe Adam had, uh, what's it called? You know, when you have those dicks that are like that? Peronis. <laughs> like, maybe he had Peron- yeah. Peronotis. <laughs> yeah. And then he was like, ooh, shit. Let's cover mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Like I know that this is neck. normal, but it's not normal. normal. Yeah. yeah. But doesn't the vagina twist it all crazy anyway? Yeah, it looks like a corkscrew inside. It's like a fucking water slide yeah. in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Woo! Might have teeth, I don't know. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah. Don't do that. Jaws. No. <sighs> yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> Mine makes yeah. Skittles. I don't like this. Lucky. Oh, I my know. God. <laughs> I don't like it. All red Skittles during the time You don't of the like night. it? You don't like vaginas? Or you uh, don't I don't like, like you guys th- saying that you have teeth and Skittles. <laughs> well, normally Sounds we talk like about time. dicks and cum yeah. here. So he's not used to the feminine vaginas. energy Vaginas. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is know. such a... D- this is where we can unlock everything. <laughs> we talk about vaginas a lot. We talk about how ducks get raped and then they had to like make their vaginas liberate. Yeah, to do to you counteract. Got, you got me. You're yeah. gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna have your kid. Yeah. get out of here. Then have. Oh, did <laughs> did uh, dolphins do that too? Then no, no I think dolphins they love smooth. fucking. But they also, I think dolphins. But they also, also get assaulted great. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They are. They're currently turning their vaginas into labyrinths. Slowly over time, is that happening? Oh yeah, there are too many male dolphins in the ocean right now because oh. it's so warm. Oh. You know, we need to throw some mushrooms in there. Yeah. Or some ice. <laughs> get yeah, well, that's a good question. They how did give the, mushrooms. Well, they did the give dolphins LSD for a while. That's what they were doing for Jane. Uh, what's her name? Good the, old. Good old. But it wasn't good old. She did. She was the she was the monkeys. But the. the, the Hang on. The this scientist. The hold on. The scientist the... that. Well, yeah, she just jerked it off. She didn't have sex with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that She jerked one. it off to they get it. They LSD. They did LSD before. That was the whole reason that. Yeah. yeah so that yeah. they could try to teach them to speak English and study their past. That was the <laughs> yeah. initial. Which is so wild. Imagine getting that grant. What You're like, honey, <laughs> I had a great day at the office today. <laughs> I jerked out the dolphin. I think it said, I love you. (laughs) Uh, First, we'll give it the LSD, and then we'll get get jiggy with him. Get jiggy with it. Wait, but uh, so here's my question. Sea creatures, how do they get stoned? Is Oh, and this is my new business, Uh figuring out what can get you stoned in the ocean and going and getting it. I'm pretty sure they're psychotropic fish that that they can stone. Right. Oh, like blow, like do- like. I are think- there are because there is like the toads, psychotropic uh-huh. toads, right? Yeah. So yeah. there are what? kinds of parrotfish that um, 
certain like islanders can catch and if you prepare it a certain way it's meat is psychotropic Fuck. that sounds oh, awesome wow. that is wow make that because you get a meal oh <laughs> <laughs> well, you might trip or it might yeah, kill you yeah yeah <laughs> we don't know the thing that sucks about mushrooms is nothing they taste so fucking bad can you imagine but eating tea, like a nice but, piece of fish and then getting the same same result yeah it's but awesome. why? Do, but now it's like, a there's such good chocolates around, and then also yeah. making the tea. I really have been like, because that making the tea makes it faster, smoother, and then not um, faster, smoother. What was my last one? And not so many like I don't know. I find that for me, the onset, I'll know that it's happening because I always get a yawn that I cannot actualize. Like it's like it just feels like it's gonna happen. It's re- it sucks, and I'm like. Okay, I know this is happening and I just got to get through this, but ever since I've been teeing and chocolating, no. Nope. How do you do the tea? Tea, just take how much you want yeah, and then just put it in a little, little cup of, of water, but like you can keep it in a strainer yeah, and then it's just like let it sit yeah, and then you strain it. Then, and you, then you just, just throw the out the, the Keep mushroom? it to the side. If you want to keep it to the side and like if you think after and you want to try munching on it, like you can, but you can also just throw it out. Man. I, th- I think in You'll love it that way. They infused it with honey. They would infuse honey with the mushrooms. That probably that's a good idea. It, like, that's, yeah. In a cool way, I feel like. Yeah. We should start there was doing also that. another way. Yeah. This is how people also do, uh, smoked weed. They would do hashish balls and with mushrooms too, stick it up their ass. Enemas were prevalent, a prevalent way but of I doing drugs th- like in ancient times. I, totally. But when you do that, that gives you more of just like the body high than the. I think the different ways you prepare, even just regular food, obviously, like not just psychedelics, the different ways you prepare food help enhance certain aspects of it. Yeah. Right. And so I, I think maybe doing like a. Like a little hashish bullet up your ass is definitely going to give you a body high rather than smoking it, yeah, which is going to yeah. give you like a really crazy head high. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it looked like you were about to move on to the yeah. next bullet point. Am I wrong? Uh, uh, I was going to talk about the idea that I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave. Um, you can leave stuff, it, but but um um. You know the 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 idea of of nutrition uh, has has come on kind of ca- kind of in such a late way that like it's been quantified and then we've learned a bunch of stuff and we haven't revisited it a lot of revisited uh-huh. a lot of things since then and you know bl- blanketly I can j- just say stupid things like well you know we need might need iron in our diet but like like crushing up iron and throwing it in your cereal might not be the best way to get iron we used to have we used to get a lot of minerals you just from, gotta drink blood from, <laughs> i just had from, from like groundwater and river water mm-hmm. as opposed to like taking the actual thing. thing yeah because i had just had i ended up becoming anemic which i didn't know oh gee Be- yes which then which was onset by some there's something that onset anemia in me and then that onset this thing called oral thrush i don't know if anyone's ever experienced this before typically in babies get in your mouth but thrush can also happen to ladies in there and i feel like vagina wait that's what it happens in women's vagina your t-shirt but it actually (laughs) no so so (laughs) i couldn't i had this insane rash all around my mouth for like all of january and when i came here Mm -hmm. i had it that's why i couldn't have my favorite milk tea that they have they have (laughs) the best straight milky tea oh god it's in there still so good but i couldn't because i ate so Lost my taste, couldn't open up my mouth. It was cracked here and hurt. My lips were swollen. They looked like, Ooh. you know, like if I had like treatment. nature's Botox. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was nature's for like for like three weeks, my tongue like I couldn't taste anything. I actually realized oh, what people who can't handle spice, what it was like. It was fucked, and I had to go off every single everything wheat right like i had to do a full can crack the code. candida cleanse yes and and like and then start to build myself up with iron but i was like trying to do it with vegetables because iron pills are so yeah difficult for your body yeah Anyways, you don't really my absorb ride. a lot of that shit no Kelly says it makes her very ill to Does, take iron supplements there's really hard see and then i feel like you need but your sensitive bodied good. friends because for us like they're the they're the There's canary. a litmus test. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> totally. But um, there, there's this idea out there that, um, um, sure, I'm going to pre- 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 preface it with, 
where you know i'm not even going to go there the idea is the food most of the energy that that people need to survive is actually from the sun and the closer you can get your food to the sun the better it is for you that's why greens mushrooms uh, yeah 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 you do put your mushrooms like in the sun for 15 minutes they will charge up uh, they will charge sorry i didn't if you put your mushrooms in the sunshine for 15 <laughs> minutes they will collect the vitamin d that you need what if but it, then the chocolate gets melted yeah, no, no 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 no. i'm yeah. talking about actual mushrooms that you're cooking with like oh. not, not the psychedelic oh. kinds but like the real but mushrooms are gross no, really? I love you don't like? Oh, I can't. I do don't it. like them either. Lion's mane? No, have you? They're too soggy. They're slimy. You, then you are eating them raw, my dude. Yeah, dude. No, but like yeah. every I've tried, like I've the mushroom burger. Slimy. You know, I don't like my, any mushrooms. You don't. So the three guys here, Aaron. No, Se oh, Seb does. Them. Okay, because I was gonna say that I was like, this is like what happened. Yeah. It's then they're gonna try and burn <laughs> us <laughs> at the stake before this podcast ends. You guys, I have so much to do. Don't burn me at yeah. a stake tonight. <laughs> I don't have the time. I don't. <laughs> I don't have the time to die that way right now. I gotta get. We'll rain check that. There, there's so much stuff. That I have a I have show to do. next week. I have to make a sandwich. I have in front to make a, a sandwich audience. in front of a you live audience. Burn me at the stake. I have cake to you eat. I have a dinner. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh. jeez, jeez. All right. Well, we've got a minute left. I so... love that we barely touched. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's... everyone at home. I just want to Listen, apologize. No, but here's the thing. Conversation's working. Yeah. We do a bonus episode. Okay. Real life sci Great. You go to patreon.com slash real life sci fi. We do yeah. more sci fi. You're going to stick around for it. Right? For that one, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 And um, that's where you can find it. Uh, your show is next Saturday. Well, this Saturday. This coming 18th. Saturday, 18th, in what, six days? Six I days? Guess, yeah, the this 18th Saturday. of March. Please go to Lindsay Ames on Instagram. A M E S. A M E S. L I N D S A Y. E Y Lindsay's are sociopaths. I'm sorry to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> But please, please, it's it's such a fun show, and like the energy is so good. It's my first time doing the live show back in the public yeah. since the pandemic. Right. I've had a couple private ones, but it's so fun, and I just want everybody to have a good time. It's so it's great. And then if if they're not in LA, just please find Lindsay me. Ames yeah, Instagram. Yeah, at make that sandwich on Instagram. Oh, but, at make that but, sandwich. Yeah, but definitely go to Lindsay Ames because I feel like I that's my main hub, and then I. I'm slowly, you know, building up the others. But yeah, a lot of different stuff there. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you again for the sandwich. Yeah, of course. And such a good sandwich. We're going to continue this conversation on our Patreon. So yeah. patreon.com slash real life sci fi. Real life sci fi dot show is our website where you can get all that stuff. You guys, quick thoughts, anything? Eat, say raw, eat raw food and eat some mushrooms. mushrooms. Go have some mushrooms. 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 We're all going to do mushrooms now. All right, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Remember, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not after you. Shh. 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 Shh.